The process of adding plugins to FL Studio 21 is pretty straightforward, whether you're using a Windows or Mac computer. Let's walk through it step by step. First, after downloading the plugin file, ensure it's either a .bkg, .exe, or a zip file. If it's a zip file, make sure to unzip it. Inside, you should find the plugin files. Double-click on the installer file to run it. Make sure to install all the files included. These files are essentially VST types, and you don't want to miss out on any of them to prevent errors. During the installation process, you'll have the option to choose the installation location. You can stick to the default folder or select a different one according to your preference. Once the installation is complete, open FL Studio. Navigate to the top left corner to the menu panel. Select Add, then More Plugins. A window will pop up, and you'll select Manage Plugins. This opens the FL Studio Plugin Manager where you'll find your plugins. Now click on the Find More Plugins button in the top left corner. FL Studio will scan all your installation folders. If you've manually added an installation folder, you can include it using the Plugin Search Path option. Ensure the Verify Plugins option is selected to prevent errors when searching for new plugins. You can disable the Rescan Previously Found Plugins option to avoid rescanning plugins you've already scanned. If you're not experiencing any pop-up windows during plugin scanning, you can leave the Try to Prevent Pop-up Windows option disabled. Finally, enable the Combine VST and VST3 versions of a plugin option. VST3 is a newer file format, but FL Studio can handle both versions without any issues. Now, let FL Studio find any installed plugins. Once the process is complete, you'll see the installed plugins listed. And that's it. You've successfully added plugins to FL Studio 21. Now you can explore and utilize them in your music production projects. Thanks for watching and happy producing.